Welcome to the beta version of the Triple Bottom Line Tool. In this brief overview video, we'll introduce what the Triple Bottom Line Tool can do for you, how to navigate the tool, and how to interpret and apply results. Whether you're an investor, an economic development professional, or a decision maker, and whether you work in the public, private, or nonprofit sector, this tool can be of use to you. There are three primary applications for the tool. As a design tool, you can optimize a project to maximize economic, environmental, and social impact. As a decision tool, you can winnow or prioritize various projects. As a communication tool, you can describe the expected impacts or returns of an investment. The tool is most useful for identifying strengths and weaknesses of a project and exploring potential areas for improvement. Let's take a look at the tool. On the Frequently Asked Questions page, you can find information about Triple Bottom Line Economic Development and about the tool. You'll also find a link to the User's Guide, providing detailed information about each measure, including why a measure was selected, what data is used, and any caveats or limitations. On the Casebook page, you'll find 18 cases from across the country that illustrate Triple Bottom Line Economic Development in practice and share lessons learned. On our feedback page, you'll find a link to our brief beta test feedback survey. When you're ready to calculate the triple bottom line score for a project, you'll simply click on the calculate link to get started. You'll create an account or enter your existing account information. The landing page includes a link to the data entry document that lets you know what information you need to have on hand to score a project. Collecting your project information ahead of time will facilitate the data entry process. You'll be asked for location information, and on this page, you can view a very brief demo on how to enter, save, or change your project boundaries. It is important that you draw the boundaries of the built portion of your project as accurately as possible, as this information does impact the project score. The tool questions are grouped by subject and these tabs show you where you are in the tool. In the beta version, you must complete each of the questions in a section before advancing to the next section. Here, I am accessing a project that I've already created. Most questions provide a response button or text boxes. If you're returning to a saved project, you can tab through to a completed section and make edits if necessary. Throughout the tool, when you click on a blue info bubble, you'll find additional information including how the data will be used and why it is important to consider, and you'll simply tab back to return to your data entry screen. If you're in the middle of entering data and you'd like to access one of your other projects, simply click on specify location and then access one of your saved projects. When you have finished entering information about a project, simply click to generate your summary report. You'll be provided the opportunity to complete our beta feedback survey. Simply click and you'll be taken to the survey link. The summary report tells how the proposed project performed with respect to the three triple bottom line goals of economic vitality, natural resource stewardship, and community well-being. All scores are based on a scale of 0 to 100. Note that the color of the scores corresponds to the legend, which helps you see how well the project seems to align with triple bottom line goals. Here you can click down and see how a project scored on the performance areas that comprise a goal. And you can drill further to see the measures that comprise each performance area. Here, for example, we see that this project will follow green building practices and receive third-party certification, and the score is 100. The project information allows you to confirm that the data was entered correctly and explore project details. The Triple Bottom Line tool was designed to be responsive to context. On the summary reports, you may see FYIs, bonuses, and NAs. These are basically 
reflecting that the tool responds to unique circumstances and recognizes that one size does not fit all. Let's take a look at an example of the bonus point. We know that quality jobs, jobs with good wages and benefits, are an important part of the triple bottom line. At the same time, we know that it's usually better to have some jobs than no jobs at all. So for this measure, a project with better than average wages receives the bonus point, but a project that does not have high wages is not penalized. Regarding the NAs, if an item is not relevant to a specific project, it's not included in the score. For example, if this were a manufacturing project and there was no housing component, questions relating to housing affordability would not be asked. They'd be skipped and the score would be NA and it would not affect the overall project score. Other items are not included in scoring but are presented as an FYI. For example, dollars leveraged is not part of the triple bottom line score because there's no research-based rationale for suggesting that the performance of a project is affected by the amount of leveraged dollars. At the same time, this is important information that many investors want to see, so it is provided as an FYI but is not included in the project score. The report also generates a due diligence section. These are items that you'll want to follow up on. Because the tool draws upon user input and national data sets, there are some items that should be confirmed or explored. You can click print to generate a PDF copy of the report and the report is also saved in the triple bottom line tool for you to access at a future time. It's important to keep in mind that the scores provide a general indication of how well a project aligns with triple bottom line goals. The summary report is most useful as an aid to design and decision making and we caution against using scores out of context. The tool's goals and measures were informed by leading edge practice, current research, and community defined priorities. Our work included focus groups, interviews, a national survey of 500 economic development professionals, professionals and work with the National Advisory Council. You can find information about this process in our user's guide. At the same time, while an enormous amount of effort has gone into building the beta version of the Triple Bottom Line tool, we fully expect to learn more and make revisions with extensive field testing. We hope that you will take the tool for a test drive and let us know what items are working well and what can be improved to make the tool more useful for you. This concludes our Triple Bottom Line tool overview. We look forward to seeing you online. Thank you.